Six most dangerous forest encounters caught on camera. Now, I'm the type of nigga, I don't go into no forest. I don't do none of that. You feel me? I don't even be fucking with the woods like that. I hate bugs. I'm, I'm scared of all type of spiders, roly polies, all types of shit. I'm scared of all that shit. So, I'm not fucking with none of that. Let me calm down. I forgot I forgot you two. I forgot they, they putting a band on the curse of cursing in the first few seconds. So, let me lock in. Let me lock in for him. But we got six most disturbing forest encounters caught on camera. Reaction. I ain't even gonna take too much of y'all time. You feel me? Y'all like, comment, subscribe, do all that in the third. It's the same thing. I ain't gonna lie. Y'all might be hearing a bunch of rain and shit because, you feel me, it's raining extra hard, windy and shit. But we ain't too much worried about it. Oh. Let's get right. Let's get right into this video. I don't know what the fuck I said right there. In April of 2020, a kid named Noah decided to go truck camping in the forests of Sun River, Oregon. He was driving down the road when he thought he found a good spot and drove deep into the forest with his truck. His first night there, he was woken up to sounds outside. As he continued listening, he realized they were footprints and from the pattern assumed it was a person. He grabbed his nearby GoPro and started filming. I'm currently sleeping in the back of my truck right now. I don't even know what time it is. And there's someone walking around my truck right now. If you can hear that, it's pretty loud. Um, Oh, hell no, nah, I ain't a lot, bro. Why don't he get in the fucking front seat and take the hell off? What the fuck? What is he doing? He's been walking around for like two minutes already. I don't really know what to do. I'm a little freaked out right now. As soon as I heard, I would have took the fuck off. It's like bitch black outside. And like, this doesn't make any sense because I parked somewhere where you couldn't see. No one was on the road. Oh, this nigga in the trunk? Oh, what the fuck? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Yo, why did you go camping by yourself with no gun, bro? Like, I ain't gonna lie. I want to go camping. Personally, me, i never been camping. I never did nothing like that. I had one chance to go camp when I was, like, in fourth grade or whatever, but I missed out on it. But, bro, if you're going to go camping nowadays, even if you're not by yourself, you with people, bro, you got to bring the blick, bro. If you don't bring the blick with you, you can run into shit like that. It could be a bear, a fox. It could be all types of shit that you need to protect yourself from, bro. And you ended up having to be a human. The main thing that's going to bag back once you get the blessing. So, you feel me? Yo, this nigga banging on his shit. Who is out there knocks on the truck and tries the door handles, all while Noah sits inside, forced to just listen to it happen. Fortunately, he had his doors locked, so no one could get inside. I'm surprised this nigga ain't try to break the window. Were finally heard leaving. When it got light outside, Noah drove back to the road and back home. Later that morning, he found handprints all over his truck, specifically on his back window from someone trying to see inside. And a lot on his door handles from someone trying to get inside. Yo. Um, handprints there, a lot of scratches, stuff like that. Um, uh, dragging his finger on my side of my truck. Uh, well, it looks like to be trying to get inside my truck. Um, that's really all I could tell from when he was walking around. More handprints trying to get in my truck. Um, at least the back canopy was locked. Y'all gotta start bringing guns with y'all um, on trips and stuff, bro. Camping trips, yeah, bro, anything. That was the result. So. For someone to even have been out there in the first place at that time of night is extremely odd. And it couldn't have been a police officer or anything because no one identified themselves. The person didn't even have a light, and this was in the middle of a pitch black forest. No one ever posted an update on the situation, suggesting that he never found out who was outside his truck that night. 
Kyle Burgess was on an early morning jog on a trail in Provo, Utah, and he thought he saw a baby bobcat on the trail up ahead of him. He immediately that? pulled out his phone and started recording. But it wasn't a bobcat, rather it was a baby cougar. Oh shit. The video then shows the mother cougar coming into view. Oh shit. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's up for this nigga. He better haul ass. Oh my god. Oh shit. You, 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 you. Cursing that motherfucker out ain't gonna do shit, boy. One nigga start cursing that bitch out. They ain't gonna do not a damn thing for you. What the hell? Oh. What the? Uh. This nigga start. Uh. Hall of Fame dog. If, if this really works, then you may, maybe shut me up, bro. But this look like some dumb ass shit. Like, what the fuck is he? Why? This nigga start fucking growling at the motherfucker. Oh. Oh. I wouldn't know what to do either. No. Oh, Get damn. Get the away. Get the away. Go. 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 No. No. Go away. Go away. Please go away. Oh. Oh. Nice and slow. Come on. Ah! It's no. working. Kyle it's is working. You see me? Off with the cougar as he slowly backs away, trying to scare it off with loud noises. Well, maybe I should shut the hell up. The cougar up. continues to follow him, and at times even lunges at him. At one point, Kyle turns his head away from the animal so as not to trip as he's backing up. This prompts the cougar to try and attack, getting within only feet of him. Go away! No, you taste, dude. I'm trying to attack and your eyes are looking away from you. Dude! No, go away! Go away! No! Yo, I ain't gonna lie. I, I'm, I no. might say it every video, bro. This is why you gotta keep the thing on you, bro. You might have to quick scope this nigga. You might have to do all types of shit. Yeah, get away. Face. You gotta take the fuck off. That was in the rain, six boy. minutes. It ends when Kyle throws a large rock, scaring the animal into running away. Cougar encounters with hikers are extremely dangerous and can often result in a much worse outcome. Had Kyle tried to run or failed to look and sound intimidating, the animal's instincts to chase and commit to an attack would have kicked in. Okay, okay. So now I know. You feel me? Next time, next time, if I ever run into an animal, I just growl at that motherfucker. I just, uh, just you feel me? Just growl at that motherfucker. All right. I know now. I was talking shit. Let me shut up. Let me in shut February up. of 2013, a few residents of a neighborhood in northern Oregon filed reports of strange noises coming from the forest. The noises were described as what sounded like eerie laughter. It was loud and echoed throughout the nearby area. And of course, people One had the to go that check heard it out. Sounds went outside to where they seemed to be coming from and started recording. Yo. What the fuck? Bro, that sound like that shit on a speaker or something, bro. But like, what what's wrong with niggas? Like, really, what do people be doing? Like, this just be like, I don't know. This shit just be confusing me sometimes. Niggas be tripping. Grown ass man, middle of the woods laughing. I don't even feel comfortable. Like I guess I don't even fuck with the woods. Some think the noises are being made by foxes or coyotes, but others don't think so. Saying coyotes, for example, have a much more canine like shriek and aren't nearly as loud. It's still unclear what it might exactly be a chupacabra the noise that night. Lisa is a girl who owns a YouTube channel where she documents her life living in a van. She travels across North America recording her experience as she goes. The videos almost always follow more of a vlog style, showing the different forests or places she stays at overnight or the journeys to get there. However, in February of 2022, 
something different was uploaded. Lisa was sleeping in her van when she woke up to the sound of knocking right next to her ear. It was 4.30 in the morning and someone was outside. She sat there frozen, not knowing what to do. Then came again, and this time she uttered out a confused hello. There was no response. It would be completely silent for the next 15 minutes. Eventually she heard footsteps coming back, and this time grabbed her camera to record. Hello? How can I help you? It's 4.30 in the morning. I don't feel safe. Who are you? There was no response. She quietly got up and went to the front of her van to look outside. In the distance, there were headlights. The car backs away, and so she turns the camera to herself and begins explaining what just happened. A few minutes into this, and she hears footsteps again. Sorry, said footprints. I feel you though. You're that. Yeah, somebody was just here again three times now. The third time I looked out, they were walking on foot. I seen them walking and they hid behind the, the uh, pot tree there. And then they went to um, a car, the same car that was here earlier. That was back and then it backed away and left again three times in one night. This time, um, they didn't knock though. They were just walking around. I could hear them walking around the van. When it got light outside later that morning, she got out of her van and found footprints all around it. So I come out this morning and you can see footprints. Look at this one. This is mine. I'll show you. There's mine. See? They were actually... There's some more... Look at that. They came here. They were standing here, as you can see. A lot of viewers believe the man was simply trying to steal valuables from the van. But why then come back two more times after you heard someone talking from inside? It's likely the man had worse intentions. Y'all be careful nowadays, man. These people locked in was taken today. by a mountain biker in, in today's time. He had set up his phone camera to get a shot of him riding down a part of the mountain. Just as he comes down and passes the camera, he suddenly hits the brakes and starts calling out. He then comes back in the frame, walking back up the mountain with his bike. Mm -hmm. As he does so, he keeps looking back behind him. Walking his path was a bear, who was now following him. Oh, fuck. Hey, hey. Oh, hey. shit. Careful, boy. Hey. We lock in. Hey. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh. <laughs> hey. Hell no, nah, I ain't gonna lock. Yo. Bro. Bro, I ain't gonna lie. I thank God that I am. I was not born in one of those places that bears just be fucking roaming around, going up to people's houses, doors, be stealing shit out of the kitchen, be taking shit off their porch and shit. I'm glad I don't live in one in none in a place like that, bro. You, I'm glad you won't see no bears where I'm at. You won't see a damn bear where I'm at. You won't see a damn alligator. Where I'm at. You won't see none of that. Shit. I am glad. I am really glad because of that shit. I right, thank God every day. Kid uses his bike to make himself look bigger. He hits it on the ground a few times, causing the bear to retreat back to the camera where it knocks it over. The bear then stands over the camera for a while longer. Finally, it retreats completely, allowing the kid to retrieve his phone and get back to safety. All right, but now I know. On September Anytime 6, I come across an animal, just be loud made, and look big. Now I know. A weird noise now I know that. Noise. Included was text that read, I put the kids to bed tonight and heard this loud, really bizarre sound coming from the woods outside my house. It lasted about 15 to 20 minutes. We have a handful of neighbors nearby, but this was too loud to be coming from them. It seemed to be coming from the direction of a nearby AM radio tower, but can those towers make noises like this? I googled around but couldn't find anything similar. 
This is the video. Yo, what the fuck am I hearing? Yo. Bro, one thing about me, I hate fucking weird ass sounds, bro. They always make me fucking cringe, and this sound is doing exactly that. speculating what the sound could have been. One of them suggested it could have been the sound of high winds passing through a nearby cell tower. That is a metal crazy metal fucking being wind. Into eerie tone. But the poster replied saying there was almost no wind that night. And even on days when it was windy, he never heard this sound. Another said the sound was extremely consistent with what it sounds like to drill into a strut or support that's made of high carbon steel. But said that it would be weird to be doing this that late into the night. To this day, it's still unknown what the sound in the video actually is. All right, man, that was six most disturbing for forest encounters. You feel me? Caught on camera. Everybody have a good day. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, do all that, and I 